we need to change presidents, this was a week for the record books. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. 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 All the reason we need, because what did we see President Obama? President Obama? <laughs>
Back in 1950, when my parents were married, you know how much of their income was required to pay their tax burden? How much? About 5%. Whoa. Whoa. You know what it is today? For a lot of families, it's upwards of 50%. That's right. Depends on who you are. If you add it up, all of your state taxes, all of your local taxes, your gas taxes, your sales taxes, property taxes, state income tax, federal income tax, add it up. That's why you see dad out in the workforce and mom out in the workforce both having to work making it very difficult to have the time they really want to have to take care of their kids. You see, the money matters That's right. because it changes That's right. the family. That's right. And one thing we know is this country, we were founded as a nation on liberty, Amen. the concept of freedom, yes. freedom, religious freedom. Amen. So we can worship God the way that we want to worship God without government standing between us and our God. That's right. We don't want government to stand between us and our family. No. And when they come in to our pocket and take so much out, they're standing between you and your family, aren't they? Yes. yes. Because that's all we have is our time. We have our labor, we have our time, and when they decide they want half of it, that means Two of us have to be in the workforce just to keep bread on the table. That's why families have changed so profoundly in the last 40 years. Because government has gotten so big, and so the family has had to shrink in response. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the family would grow? If mother and father would have more support? That's the best thing that government can do for the family, is get their hand out of their pocketbook. Isn't that the way to go? That's what I'll do. Because I'm a fiscal conservative, and I have an idea. We have a few fiscal conservatives here tonight, too. a social conservative, an unapologetic, unashamed, bold, strong, rock ribbed social conservative. Because we believe in the right to life from conception until natural death. And we will uphold it and protect it with everything that's within our being. That's right.